We continue now at the top of Daf Samach Dalad Amad Aleph and Maseches Baba Kama. This is Baba Kama Daf 64a. The Gemara is in the middle of bringing the Tarnadeve Chizkiah, which teaches us the idea of Kefal by Ganev. And it says that the Pasuk mentions a number of items, but it doesn't need to mention Seh. The fact that it mentions Shor should already include Seh. And the Gemara says, Kishu Omer Seh. So when it says Seh, Hare Seh Omer. So now it's saying Seh, even though it's not needed. Hamani Mekayim Geneva. So therefore, what are we understanding from this term Geneva? The Rabbos called Dover. It comes to include everything. In other words, the point of the Bryce of the Tanah of Bechizke is, is that had it only said sure, so I might think that something that's Karav Lagavim is Bech, that's included in the Halach of Kefel, but something that's not Karav Lagavim is Bech, something that's not brought on the is Bech, is not included in the Halach of Kefel if it is stolen, and that would have automatically included Seh. So why does it need to say the word Seh? And the answer to that is it must be to include everything. And then the Brisa continues, Yom, Yomar Shor Se Ugeneva Vahakol Bechlal. Again, just say Shor and Se and Geneva, and everything will be included. And the Gemara says to that, the Brisa says to that, Ilu Kacho Yisi Yomer. If that was the case, I would say, Mahaprat Meforish Dover Hakodesh Bebechora. These things that are specified are things that have the sanctity of the Bechora. Af Kol Dover Hakodesh Bebechora. So too, maybe we should include only things that have the sanctity of Bechora. Mayesh Lachal Havi. So what, what could we include? What other animal has the sanctity of the firstborn? Chamor, we would include a chamor. Kishu omer, chamor. But then it says the word chamor. That's also identified in the Pasuk. Hare chamor omer. So we have chamor in the Pasuk. Hamani mekayim geneva. So therefore, what do we mean when we say that by the geneva, again, there's kefel, the rabbos called over, that includes everything. And the Brisa continues, Yomar Shor Vechamor Se, it should say Shor and Chamor and Se, Geneva Vahakol Bechlal, and Geneva and everything will be included. And so the Brisa says, Yilukacha Yisi Yomar, if that was the case, so I would say, Mahaprat Mefurash Balechaim, just like what's specified are living animals, Afkol Balechaim, so to this halach of Kefal applies specifically by Balechaim, Mayesh Lachal Lohavi Shar Balechaim, what will you include other animals? Kishu Omer Chaim, but it says the word Chaim, Hare Chaim Omer, so it says the word Chaim, Hamani Mekaim Geneva, the rabbis called Dover. So what are we mean, being Mekayim here in terms of Geneva, in terms of this halach of Kefel? We're including everything. That's how the Tanah of Echizkiah learns everything, that everything that is stolen is Shaykh by Geneva in terms of Kefel. And Rashi explains Le Rabbo Shar Devarim to include other items in the halacha of Kefel, Kolhani, all those that we mentioned, Ilu Kain, and then the Brisa said, if that was the case, Lashon Teshuvah She'elahin, that's like a language of responding to the question. Afkol Kadosh Bebechora, so too I would think anything that is sanctified with the Kedusha, the firstborn. Velo Misrabi Midrash Alechamor, and what's being included then from the Drash Alechamor? Hilkach Ma Hayolach Lohavi Shalom Nechtav Chamor, therefore what are we including that's not written? It would be Chamor. Lohachi Kos of Chamor, and that's why it actually writes Chamor, the Al Karchach Klalu Pratu Klal, Ashar Dvar Masi, that therefore the Klalu Pratu Klal must be coming to include other items. The Akol Bechlal Chaim, and everything is included in the word Chaim, meaning the Bale Chaim, to Mashmal Rabbos Kol Bale Chaim Lomeli, that's already, that implies to include all Bale Chaim. So again, what do we need the Klalu Pratu Klal for? And that includes even beyond Bale Chaim, it includes everything. And the Gemara continues, Amar Mar, the Master said, analyzing the Tana Devei Chizki above, the Tana Devei Chizki said, Yomar Shoru Geneva, could have just said the words Shoru Geneva. And so the Gemara now asks, Miksiv Shoru Geneva, does it say Shoru Geneva in that order? The Pasuk actually says, Himotse Timotse Biyado HaGeneva, Mishor Ad Chamor, the word Geneva comes first, then comes the word Shor, then we start listing the items. Geneva Ushor Hudichsev, the Pasuk says Geneva, and then it says Shor. And if you're going to say, Ilu Nemar Kamer, the Brisa just means, the Tana de Bechizkiah just means, if it would have said it in that order. Ilu Nemar Shor Geneva, if it would have said Shor and then Geneva. Umi Matzis Amr, but if that's the case, could it, could you have said, could the Brisa have followed with the words Maha Prat Meforash, that just like the Prat is something, we try to include things that are similar to the Prat. If it would have been in that order, you wouldn't include things that are similar to the Prat. Why? Because have a Shor Prat, U Geneva Klal, because if it would have said the word Shor first and then the word Geneva, Shor is a prat, Geneva is a klal, that's what we call a prat u klal. Prat u klal, nasa klal mosef ala prat. When you have a prat u klal, the klal actually adds onto the prat. Vis rabul hu kalmili, and everything would be included. Meaning to say that if the Brisa was saying, if the Tanah de Vechizki was saying, that if it would have said shor u geneva, then we would include things that are similar to shor, that's not true. If it would have said shor u geneva, that's a prat u klal, we would have actually included everything. 
And so therefore, Ella rather kedich sivka amri. Rather, it means to say the way it is written. We're not supposed to take the brisa so literally that it means it says it in the order of Shor Geneva. It just means in the actual order it said it. Geneva ushor, meaning to say it says the word in the it says that the words Geneva ushor in the pasuk. Now the way the brisa phrased it, the, it said Yomar Shor Geneva could have just said Shor Geneva. The brisa just means that it could have just said Shor Geneva in the order that it was in the pasuk. It could have just said Geneva ushor. But still, Mimot says Amrit Hakol Bechlal. Can you really say still that everything would be included? O Mahaprat Mefurish, or using this language of Mahaprat Mefurish, that's not true either. Even if you have it in the order that the Pasuk actually says it, which is Klalu Prat, Havale Geneva Klal, Geneva would be a Klal, the Shor Prat and Shor would be a Prat, Klalu Prat, Ein Bechlal, Alamasha Beprat. The rule is that when you have a Klalu Prat, you only include the item that's specified, you only include the Prat. And again, it seems like from the Tanah of Echizkia that we're including things that are similar to the Prat. So whether it's a Prat of Chlal or a Klal of Prat, it doesn't really fit what the Bryce is talking about. The Bryce seems to be talking about a Klal u Prat u Klal. Shor in Midiachrin Alo. Again, if it would be a Klal u Prat, then we would only include Shor and nothing else. And so therefore, the question essentially of the Gemara is, what does the Tan of Echizkia mean when it seems to be darshaning a Klal u Prat u Klal here? And the Gemara says, Amar Rava Rava says, Tana Achayim Kasamechle. The Tana of the Tana of Echiski is actually relying on the word Chayim. That's considered to be a Klal. And so therefore, Klal Upratu Klal Kamerle, it really is a Klal Upratu Klal. But the Gemara asks, Vahalo Domi Klala Basrola Klala Kama, but that last Klal, meaning the word Chayim, is not similar to the first Klal, which is the word Geneva. And so that can't be a Klal Upratu Klal. And the Gemara says to that, Hot Tana Dvei Rabbi Shmuel, who this Tana is actually the Tana Dvei Rabbi Shmuel, Tachi Aigavna Darish Klal Uprati, the Tana Dvei Rabbi Shmuel, they do Darsh and Klal Uprat in that way, even if the first Klal is not similar to the last Klal, it's still a Klal Upratu Klal. And Rashi explains, Miksiv Shor Beresha, does it say the word Shor first, Vahadr Geneva, and then the word Geneva, the Havle Pratu Klal, then it would be a Pratu Klal, the name Hakol Bechlal, and then we really would say everything is included, the Nasa Klal, Mosef Ala Prat, because then the Klal is adding to the Prat. Geneva Vashor Ksib, but the Gemara says, no, that's not true. First it says the word Geneva, and then it says Shor. The Havle Klalu Prat, that's actually a Klalu Prat, not a Pratu Klal, Vashor in Midiachrin Alo, and that means only Shor and nothing else. And then the Gemara said, Vechitemo ilu nemar kamer. Now, if you're going to say that the Brisa means if it would have said it in that order, if it would have said Shor and then Geneva, ilu nemar, Shor Beresha, if it would have said the word Shor first, Vahadr Geneva and then the word Geneva, lo hayatzarech lichtov yoser. So the Brisa was saying it doesn't need to write anything else. That would automatically include everything. Vilomo lo nichtov kena. Maybe that's what the Brisa is asking. Why didn't it write it in that fashion to include everything? But then it doesn't make sense. Ilu nemar, Shor Geneva. So the Brisa is saying if it would have said Shor and Geneva, Bitmiya, this is the Gemara is asking a question. What the Gemara means to say is that's actually true. If it would have said sure and then Geneva, that is a Pratu Klal. And that's actually a very good question. Why not write that? What's the Bryce of them responding and saying, well, if it said that, I would have thought only things similar to the Prat. That's not true. I would have thought it includes everything. So, so rather you'll say what the Brisa means is in the order that it's actually written in the Pasuk. Again, Bitzmi, it's saying this as a question. Geneva Ushor, meaning it says it in the in the Pasuk in the order of Geneva and then Shor. But Hohavale Klalu Prat, but then it's a Klalu Prat. Umay Hakol Bechlal. So then the line doesn't make sense. What do you mean everything's included? When you have a Klalu Prat, not everything's included. To Kakashale, what's that Kasha of the Brisa? Umay Maha Prat Mefurish. And then what does the Brisa go on to say and say that the Prat is things like this and therefore we're including anything similar to Mahadule, that's the response of the Brisa. Haklalu Prat Lo Marbimidi, that's not true. By Haklal and Prat, you don't include anything. And then the Gemara continued, Achayim Samach, that the Brisa, the Tanah of is actually relying on the word Chayim, meaning Geneva, the Havale Klola Kama, Geneva, which is the first Klal. Samach Le Achayim, that's relying on the word Chayim, the Havale Klola Basra, that that's the last Klal. Vidarish Bechlalu Pratu Klal, and the Tanah of is essentially Darshning a Klalu Pratu Klal. And so now Rashi notes, Vesefa de Katani, now the very end of the Tani de Vechiskia, what does it say? It says, Vyomar Geneva Shor Vesava Chamor, it should just say Geneva Shor and San Chamor, Vakol Bechlal, and everything is included. And then it goes on to say, so therefore, what does it need to say Chaim for? And then it talks about what Chaim is coming to include. But that's problematic now, because now the entire time we're relying on the word Chaim, it's a Klalu Pratu Klal. Hoel Va Chaim Samachle, if we're already relying on the word Chaim, my Kashale. So what's the question over here? 
Hatzveloksiv, there's nothing more that is written, so what does the Brisa even mean at the end? And so to that, Imhimotze Timotze Kashle. Rashi tells us that actually they're relying on another Pasuk, the Pasuk of Imhimotze Timotze, Kedomra B'Maskana. We're actually going to say that in the conclusion of the Gemara. Umiyu Avsaka Gemara Lemil Se Derava Bepirche Achrisi, but we're going to interrupt over here with Rava's words. We're going to interrupt with other questions. Velo Shavak Lasuki Lemil Se doesn't allow, the Gemara doesn't come to the conclusion just yet at this point. And so that's what the Gemara said. Vahalo Domi Klala Basra. How could you say it's a Klala Prat of Klala? That last Klala is not similar to the first klal, the lokayl el abalechaim, because the last klal is talking about animals. Lechlal kamod the mashma kaldover, but the first klal geneva seems to be talking about anything. And to that the gemara said, "Hatana de veri shmal." We're following the tana de veri shmal b'shilu elu trefus at the end of elu trefus, which again says that you could darshan a klal of pratu klal in that fashion. And the gemara now continues with what Rashi alluded to: "Vahachi kakashle." This is now the question at the end of the brisa. Im himotze timotze lamali. What do we need? The pasuk of im. And Rashi explains, Here's what the Tanadavei Chizkiah is asking at the end. Himotze sounds like an inclusion. Lomeli, what do we need that inclusion for? And now Rav is going to explain the entire Brisa, taking this Imhimotze Timotze into account. And it's explained as follows. Yomar Shor Geneva V'chayim V'akol Bechlal. Again, just say Shor and Geneva and Chayim, because again, we're Darsh it as a klalu pratu klal, and everything will be included. So the Bryce responds, if that was the case, we would say similar to the prat, just like the prat is something that's brought on the Mizbeach, Afkol Hakarev Lagavi Mizbeach, so to anything that's brought on the Mizbeach, Mayesh Lahavi, what should you include? Se, you should include Se, Kishu Omer Se, when it says the word Se, Hare Se Omer, it already says Se, Hamani Mekayim Geneva, so therefore, what are we understanding from Geneva? Larab was called over to include anything. Yomar Geneva Vishor Vise. V'chayim, let it say Geneva, and Shor and San Chayim, V'akol V'chlal, and everything would be included. Ilukeno Yisiyomer, if that were the case, I would say, Mahaprat Mefurish Dover HaKadosh B'Vechorah, just like what's specified is something that is the sanctity of the firstborn. Avkol Dover HaKadosh B'Vechorah, so to just include things with the sanctity of the firstborn. Mayesh Lach Lahavi Chamor, what are you going to include with that? You'll include Chamor. Kishuomer Chamor, Hare Chamor Amr, it says Chamor, Chamor is already stated. Hamani Mekayim Geneva, the Rabbos called Dover, so what does it mean, Geneva? To include anything. Yomer Geneva, Vishor Vishor and everything's included. If that was the case, I would say that what's specified is living animals. So too it applies to living animals. What should you include? Other living animals. But it says the word so is included. So why does it say it includes anything? So what do we need the pot? of him he mots it he mots it for and Rashi explains, Hakol Bechlal de Misrabe Kol Kein Prat. When we say Hakol Bechlal, we mean to include anything similar to the Prat, Dover Hametalto, the Gufo Mamon, anything that's a movable object that has intrinsic monetary value. Hamani Mekayim Geneva de Darshinan Bechlalu Prat Larabos called Dover. So what am I fulfilling with the word Geneva that's a Klalu Prat that includes anything? Yomar Geneva Vishor Visev Hamor Vachayim Vakol Bechlal, and Himotse Timotse Lomali. Why do we need him Himotse Timotse? Umeshani into that, the Tonad of he answers, If that were the case, I would just say all balechayim. That's why we need himotze timotze. Lameimer delav mi geneva vechayim darshinu leklal. We're not learning it from geneva and chayim. Elamei im himotze timotze. Rather, we're really learning it from im himotze timotze. Vishadinu lecholhani prati benai. We put all of the different specifications in between them. Kedem afarish lekaman. As we're going to explain on the next amud. Then the Tana de Vechizki asks, What should you include other Balechayim? Kishomer Chaim Hare Balechayim Omer. It says Chaim and includes Balechayim. Kilomar Mikra Behedyanafki, meaning to say that we learn it out from the Pasuk anyway. The Lav Michlalu Prat, we don't need the Klalu Prat for Balechayim. Hilkachmani Mikayim Klalu Prat, therefore, how can I be Mikayim the Klalu Prat, Larabos called over, to include everything? Vakati Himotse Timotse Lamali, and so then the question is still, What do we need? Himotse Timotse. For and this is now the conclusion of the Tana de and we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Samech Dalid Amud Beis.